In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create raindrops with uh, ripple effect animation slide in PowerPoint. Uh, as you can see here, I have added this uh, background image which I've downloaded from the net and they have added some clouds effects also at the top. And when I click, the drop started falling onto this rework, creating the ripple effect. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here the drop started falling and it's creating the ripple effect and uh, the drops keeps on increasing by mouse click you can see here i'm just clicking the mouse and it keeps on increasing and you can control with this either with mouse click or uh, it can happen gradually increase also depending on your requirement you can set it so you can see here just keep on increasing so depending on your requirement you can just add as many as you want and here you can see the front the ripple effect is bigger one and the back side the ripple effect is a smaller one and i have created one more slide where i have not used any background let me just show you how that slide looks like so you can see here uh, this is without any background and it will keep on increasing depending on the requirement and if you want you can control it as i said can see something like this you can do it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university you can join my whatsapp group with the help of this link it is also provided in, in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Go to insert shapes, select the line, draw a small line. You can see here, you can give any color, any dark color or some kind of a teal color. And then you can go to the weight and increase the weight, maybe two quarters or one and a half. So whichever way, maybe it's still, I need to make it more weight, maybe three points, something like this. You can see here, let me just zoom in again if you want to increase the size if you want to you know bend it something like that you know whatever way you want you can just do that then i'm just going to place this here and i'm going to add two oval shape for the ripple effect so that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw one oval shape a bigger one first shape outline i'm going to give the same color you can see here the teal color or this color and shape fill make it no fill okay and then press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and then just add one more here in the center and this line i'm just going to put it exactly in the center something like this so now i'm going to give the animation for that go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the line first you can see here this line i'm just going to select and give the animation which is fly in you can see here fly in and it has to come from top fly in from top double click this one if you want you can make it more fast or let it be very fast not a problem and here effect you can see here the after animation we are saying don't dim i'm going to change this one and i said hide after animation okay this is very important you have to do that one Otherwise, what will happen in the, the line comes from the top and it goes to the bottom. So here, what happens? It comes here and it disappears. So if I click OK, see, you can see here. If I play again, it comes and it disappears. You can see here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the oval shape, the bigger one. Add animation. Go to more entrance effect. I'm going to select basic zoom. So you can see here it comes something like this and this should happen you can say here after previous that means when the drop comes and touches here then only the ripple effect should come all right so this one double click this timings you can make it very fast and repeat you have to say until end of the slide okay and even for this also the line also you have to do the same thing timing you have to say repeat until the end of the slide so it keeps on coming and going okay so many, many times it will come and go or it keeps on coming and going also it, it will repeat so now this one should happen after previous again i'm going to select this with the help of the animation painter i'm selecting the inside one you can see here this one this 
you can give a little bit delay it's already delay here now if i play you can see here the effect let me just show it on the slideshow you can see here all right so it comes something like this the effect so what i'm going to do is it's very simple for me now i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate add as many as you want okay you can see here press ctrl d all right so many i'm just adding you can add even it doesn't matter if it is overlapping also no problem just press ctrl d and then just keep on adding one by one you can see here all right so just do as many as you want you can see here now when i click the first will come then you can see here on each click it keeps on increasing you can see here the water effect all right so if you want you can start i mean you can uh, do the animation with the on click or you can remove the on click and you can say after previous also or with previous depending what exactly your requirement is so you have seen that we have added this much uh, this one again if you want uh, what you can do is let me just select all you can see here press ctrl d also and i can just make more also something like this so depending on your requirement you key you can keep on adding again let me just play you can see here it keeps on increasing with e which each click all right so you can see here something like this so you can add as many as you want and then for example i want to add some smaller one at the back side so let me just go to close the animation pane i'll just go to the home folder then what i'm going to do i'm just going to select only one you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and then hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here something like this make it exactly in the center and if you want you can give some different color here you know more lighter or more darker color at the back side so you can see here and this also i'm going to give the same color for this all right and then exactly make it in the center so like this you can add many of them sorry just duplicate and keep on adding at the back side you know you can see here like this you can add as many as you want all right so uh, this is the, the basic animation which i have just explained to you now if you want to add some background image or any image which uh, good image you have you can add that image also so what i'm going to do i'm going to add some image which i have downloaded from the net so you can see here this particular image i have downloaded Control c and just paste it Control v and go to format and send to back all right so again uh, see something is going you know on top of this tree so you have to just adjust it so that it should not go beyond that one so it should be under the water only so i can just bring it something like this also so now if i play when i click you can see here it comes something like this all right so and again if you have some good uh, images of the clouds or any other thing you can just add it at the top